I don't think there is a one March Madness bracket in America that has not been busted at this point. Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Yes, March Madness is officially underway. I know I said that before, but man, what a weekend of basketball. We're talking Cinderella stories, busted bu bracket busters, and upsets and underdogs like out the wazoo. And ironically, a lot of the small private Christian schools are really stepping up their game. Abilene Christian, um, Oral Roberts University, who's made it to the Sweet 16, crazy games, and Loyola University of Chicago, who played University of Illinois, which a lot of my family has either graduated from or worked at. But man, they played hard from minute one. Like it looked like a national championship game. And you've got 101 year old sister Jean on the sidelines who somehow working scouting reports into her pregame prayers. I am in for all of it. All of it. I tell you, I'm here for it. So I'm so excited. Um, sorry, I went a little bit ahead of that. So basically <laughs> in other news, Krispy Kreme is giving people a free donut a day for the rest of the year. If you show them your vaccine card, supposedly, if you do that by March, um, Prince Harry is actually taking a job as an executive with a Silicon Valley startup and it's national puppy day. So if you missed any of that, you can find it below. You can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, sammycone.com and on YouTube. Well, I pretty much gave you Everything I wanted to talk to you about in my news, I couldn't help but talk about basketball. You know I love basketball. I love college basketball. I love March Madness. Man, I was sad when I turned on the TV today and there wasn't any on, but whew, it has been on nonstop in our house. And like I said, even though my Tar Heels did not make it through the weekend, I am ready to just keep watching. Actually, Wisconsin beat UNC and then they lost to Baylor, who is the number one seed. So we're not surprised but it just is what it is. But yeah, lots of top seeds going down. Ohio State is out, Texas out, Florida is out. I mean, people are falling. So if you want to talk basketball, I'm here for it. I do want to pray faith over you today. Hebrews 11, one says, um, faith is, I'm going to, I always mess it up. Confidence and what we hope for and assurance and what we do not see. So I pray that you have faith beyond your wildest hopes, dreams, and visions today. Okay, friends, I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.